Ahutsato. Ahutsato, Atsatso, was an Aztec ruler who reigned between 1486 and 1502 CE. He was one of the greatest generals of the ancient Americas and he left to his nephew, Montezuma, an enlarged and consolidated empire which had been ruthlessly terrorized into submissive acceptance of Aztec rule. With huge building projects and victories celebrated by mass sacrifices of captured enemies to honor the gods, the reign of Ahutsavl was the Aztec Golden Age. Ahutsavl was the third son of Aztec King Motokuzoma, Iowakamana, 1440-1469 CE. His name, appropriately enough as it would turn out, was associated with a mythical hyper-aggressive otter that lived at the bottom of a lake and ruthlessly preyed on any creature which approached the lake's banks. The creature, often depicted with a human hand at the end of its tail, was used as the name glyph for the king in Aztec commemorative sculpture. Ahutsavl took over as the Aztec Tilatoni, speaker, or supreme ruler from his half-brother Tizak, 1481-1486 CE, who was poisoned. Tizak had not been particularly successful in the role after being forced to quash various rebellions and famously losing a battle to the Tarascans. Lord Ahutsavl was the eighth Aztec ruler and he is described in Aztec texts as youthful, strong, energetic, and audacious. Ahutsavl was a mere youth when he took power in 1486 CE and had to be brought from school on the death of Tizak, but he already displayed a great maturity beyond his years. We are also informed that the new Tilatoni was helped in his early years by the traditional king's advisor, the Tlacelloel. The accession of Ahutsavl is commemorated in a green diorite slab with the year 8 reed date glyph. On it are both Tizak and Ahutsavl, while between them is a ball of cactus fiber with cactus needles stuck in it. The two rulers are using needles to let blood from their earlobes in offering to the gods. The blood flows down from the two figures into the gaping jaws of a stylized earth crocodile creature representing the earth goddess Tlaltecutlai. The slab now resides in the National Museum of Anthropology in Mexico City. Ahutsavl quickly established his reputation as a gifted military leader by winning his first battle in the traditional coronation war beloved of Aztec rulers. Leading his army in person and fighting alongside his warriors, as he would always do, the Toluca Valley rebellions were quashed, booty taken, and sacrificial victims procured. The victory was celebrated with the largest feast and round of gift-giving the Aztec people had ever witnessed. Ahutsavl then proceeded to bring the Gulf Coast territories into line after their stubborn refusal to pay tribute. This was another victory, and Ahutsavl would go on to win many more. Conquering the central valleys of Oaxaca circa 1494 CE the Aztecs moved as far south as the Guatemalan border, or even beyond, in order to encompass lucrative cacao-producing regions. They also campaigned as far west as the Pacific coast, perhaps in a long-term strategy to outflank the Tarascan forts being established by that hostile nation. The result of this expansion was that Ahutsavl created the largest area yet brought under Aztec control. Although the Aztec armies concentrated on enemy cities and their empire would only ever be a loose collection of tribute-paying subject states. Ahutsavl did attempt to establish a more permanent Aztec presence by building Aztec monuments in such conquered cities as Tepoztlan, Malinalco, and Calixlahuaca. Some local gods were also incorporated into the Aztec pantheon in an effort to further bind the diverse cultures of Mesoamerica. Trade was encouraged in some areas, especially by the Paktika warrior traders who were given the privileged right to wear jewelry and feathers by Ahutsavl, such was their importance in his strategy to open up new territories. At the same time more troublesome peoples were ruthlessly and systematically wiped out during the reign of Ahutsavl. Ahutsavl also greatly increased the number of human sacrifices carried out in the various Aztec religious ceremonies designed to appease their gods and celebrate military victories. 
Duran famously recounts how 80,400 war captives were sacrificed over four days atop the Templo Mayor Pyramid Temple at Tenochtitlan. Duran famously recounts how 80,400 war captives were sacrificed over four days atop the Templo Mayor Pyramid Temple at Tenochtitlan. The scene of this mass sacrifice is depicted in the Codex Teleriano Remensis. Not only did sacrifices help to appease the gods and ensure a continuation of the Aztec world, but a Hutzatl used the spectacle to terrify the visiting rulers of newly conquered territories and ensure their passive compliance to Aztec rule. 